today is back to mommy mode. Devin has been taking over my vlogs. Like, really? I'm glad you guys like him though. Because <laughs> I love him. But anyway, <laughs> he's mine. I'm not sharing him too much more, okay? I'm kidding. I promise I'm kidding. <laughs> so I dyed my hair. What do you guys think? I think it looks so much better. I feel like it blends better now with my real hair, even though I don't have any of my real hair out, but it just looks better, right? Do you guys agree? You better. But anyway, so there's a lot going on in this vlog today. I am about to show you guys a room tour of Taylor Sky's bedroom because it's been highly requested, especially in the Q&A video. And we're going to do a hair tutorial that was very highly requested as well. The, um, the style they wore to the Camille Rose Walmart events. Everybody wants to see that. It's very easy, so I'm just going to add it to this vlog. And then we are running errands for the rest of the day. So I hope you guys are ready to hang out with us girls. No Devin. He may pop up tonight when he gets off of work. Um, but yeah, let's get started. canopy that costs I don't know twenty dollars or more I don't know how much they cost we just made our own and we basically use the embroidery ring and we use two sheer panels some string and a hook to put up a canopy on their bed this comforter set is from home goods and it's by Nicole Miller right beside their bed they have a lamp here with a Bible. So this one is actually Skylar's bed. And this is Taylor's bed. But they always end up in the same bed every night. I want to say we got this from Walmart. And the Bible we found at a place called um, Ollie's. And instead of having a regular lamp light, they have this cool black light, so at night their whole room turns purple. And the lamp is pretty cool. It has this little crystal detail. And of course they have to have their pink Bible. I really like how their bedroom is kind of like a big girl room because it's not a cartoon character, but the colors are really fun even though they're muted. And I think it gives their bedroom like a really nice clean look. Um, I love the stripes of the pillows and then we have some texture with the fuzzy purple pillow and then um, a cart like a cartoon drawing on the other pillow so it's still again it's very girly and kid friendly and then I love the tassels which are navy blue which totally is like not even really a color you would think would be in here but just that tad bit of navy blue makes everything super super cute. Just walk in. Here's the dresser area. Nothing really on there. I want to keep that nice and clean. Then right here, we have their Barbie set. Their room is not big at all, but it's an okay size for them. So again, dresser area. Then they have their Barbies over there. And then this is their little seating area. And again, this is as big as their room is. But yeah, so their little sitting area, they just have these bean bags, a little comfy rug, and then they have their entertainment center that I put together. It's not even something we bought. It's just a little concoction, a DIY. <laughs> the bean bags are from Walmart, very inexpensive. I think they were $15 each and another pop of color for their room. These little suckers are not inexpensive. They are crazy. I think they were $20 each. That's ridiculous for a game. Are you serious? This is a perfect touch you can add to your bedroom. Have a full length of a wall, nothing but curtain curtains and that way you can add like an accent wall a pop of color some texture and it doesn't cost that much and it doesn't take as much effort as painting use some of these small little metal rods the same ones that i used in my closet on makeover and i just put them wall to wall and put the curtains up it was that simple and then you may need to get like a little hook 
to um, put in the middle of each rod so it doesn't like hang a little bit because the little hook that you can use in the metal rod and these are so cheap they're like a dollar at Walmart each and then you just cover it as much as you can but that's how we did that all the way across so we did that wall to wall and we like it is their entertainment area and again I did this very simple at the bottom here this is actually a table set it's three tables it's a coffee table and two end tables so that's an end table and that's an end table this longer one in the center is the coffee table and these are from Ikea and I just put them together as one table and um, at first I didn't have the cubes at the bottom, but I was like, I didn't like how empty it looked. And it looks kind of messy right now, I should fix it. But I just put some cubes underneath to make it look more like an entertainment center. So it didn't have so much negative space. And then on top of the tables, I've put two bookcases. And these are from Walmart. And they are not cheap, y'all. I think these were like 30 or $40 each. And to me, that is expensive. These should be like 10 or $15. And I had to put it together myself. What? But anyway, so I bought two of those and put it on each side. So it gives us some height and some storage. And in there, I basically put some baskets. I probably need to go get some new ones. I'll probably get some more like the bottom here and put up there. I think it can fit. Um, so yeah, I may get some more cubes for that area. I just used some old baskets we already had and they just keep all their junk in them. And you know, it looks organized because of the baskets, but really it's just a whole bunch of crap in those baskets. Um, and then I just add some decorative pieces like the picture frames, some little knickknacks, a clock. Of course, we have their TV, their DVD player, as well as um, their Xbox, but it's behind the TV. And then a little picture that says glitter is always an option. So yeah, you can try this little entertainment center yourself at home. Very simple. Through here is their walk-in closet but i've turned it into a their playroom area because the closet is so big for i mean it's too big for their clothes so we were like we might as well just turn this into a play area and they love it it is so much fun this is their little desk area and they have their laptops in here some you know some notebook paper and composition notebooks a dry erase board with magnets pencils and, you know little office supplies for them but the highlight of this is definitely the dry erase board they love writing on there and yeah so we got most of the office supplies from um target um, and that includes the little baskets the pencils the notebook the dry erase board is from Walmart and the magnets are from Target and then the little stools are actually from Five Below. I'm not sure if you guys have one of those. In this corner we have another little bookcase from Walmart that was too expensive. <laughs> and we just put their little kitty Bibles on there and their big fat piggy bank. That sparkle painting is from Marshalls. The throw pillows are from Walmart and that bench is Martha Stewart and we got that from Home Depot. This bench is amazing. It also has the little storage bins and they just put their shoes in there. And I don't know what we're going to use that other little space for. I'm not sure. Maybe, I don't know, we could maybe fold some t-shirts or something in there or put books in there. And then their little clothes hamper here. That is from Ross, very inexpensive. On this side of the playroom, I just used a little jewelry hanger. Just had their little purses on there, a camera that Carol's daughter gave them. And this little guy, 
how cute is this i'm not sure who made this taylor or sky but i found it in here and decided to hang it up but yeah this jewelry hanger also from walmart i think i think i got this from walmart yeah as far as what they have hung in here I don't keep much in here I just hung up some stuff that match the decor because I don't want any clothes in here really but their shoes are in here because I mean they have a lot of shoes and they need them organized in here for their organization as you notice there's not a lot of junk just laying around and I like it that way so I like to keep all their little toys separate and up high so they can't just pull them out they actually have to ask for permission um so they have their slippers up there um and then i have each box labeled whether it's doc mcstuffin stuff fashion items sup kitchen stuff build-a-bear what's that frozen barbie doc mcstuffin is over here Oh, that one must be just random toys, that second one, because Doc McStuffins is right there, and more Barbie stuff. Then they have these two toy bins as well that's filled of toys. And also in this corner, they have some more paintings, When You Wish Upon a Star, and Believe in Your Dreams. And down here, another little toy bin that they keep all their toys in. And these LED lights are from Ikea and they're so cool because they sit in here sometimes with just those lights on and no light and it looks so cool. Today we are going to do a tutorial on how we did our hair for the Camilla Rose um, Walmart thing. My hair. I'm going first. Yeah. What I'm going to do is make a center part down the middle of your daughter's hair that's the first part is down the middle you add a peak angle so we're gonna make it because we want these to all to look like triangles basically at the tip so all the parts are going to start at the same center po point right here one triangle this is gonna be the second triangle so this one you're just gonna keep going back Once you have it at that center point, the back part doesn't really matter, but the moisturizer we're going to be using is the Eden Body Works Kids Curly Cream. And I'm going to go ahead and put some of the um, edge control in place. It's better to go ahead and put those in place now because once it's twisted, you're not gonna wanna add any more product because you don't wanna mess up anything. And then brush that out. All right, so we're gonna start twisting. Now, you guys, Flat twisting, a lot of people don't know how to flat twist, and guess what, I don't know how to teach you, um, so sorry. I've tried in videos, it's so hard to explain, and it's so hard, so hard to film it. And you wanna keep detangling as you go down because you don't want these to be messy. Especially if you want it to be a flat twist out later. And I always try to explain that at the bottom, start doing a rope twist because if you do a rope twist, they should stay in longer. You may want to add some more curly cream on the ends. Really side. Alright, so there's her first twist. Alright, we're going to do the second. 
second one and then you just do the same exact thing on the other side. Mm -hmm. Every single twist you would do the same thing. Um, turn to the side again and smile look out the window keep still you look beautiful Taylor turn to mommy all right this is video now you can act normal <laughs> all right so Taylor tell them we're all done so we're all done, and I'm on Snapchat, and I just took a picture of it, so, and I'll put it in just for this video. All right, turn to the side. We already did that side, Taylor. Taylor, we already did that oh, side. Yeah. I forgot. All right, well, we should Taylor, do your edges a little bit. the case off? Why do I always take the case off, Taylor? Oh, Taylor your head texted. Up. Head up. Taylor texting. Mom, who's Taylor texting? She's not texting. Is she texting Anthony? Or is she texting Christopher? Or is she texting Miss Dini? Or is she texting Miss Sample? Is she texting Miss Collier? Alright, you're all set. Thank you for being my tutorial model. Okay, my time. Yeah. <laughs> tell Scott and Book you have a mohawk. Look a little bit to the side. Tell Tyler.
go way in your mouth. <laughs> Look who decided to get a Cabbage Patch doll. They're gonna remember that time when I tried to get you to get it and you was like, no. Stop acting like a baby. I got this because I carry my camera all the time, so it's perfect. Even searching online, you can't find anything. Like when I was younger, I remember we had everything. Like whatever you needed for your house, you had it. But it's, it seems like it would be easier now. Isn't she so cute? I just would keep with you. Oh, she's okay. I guess you are. You're so cute. I'm currently at Chipotle. Obviously, I'm not going to get a new one. Yeah, we have two now. Hi, but I said you need to pop it. Oh, my gosh. 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 That you, I thought you wasn't I'm a, listening. Like I'm a, you know how GameStop does right there. But that Deadpool game is some crap. Don't say that. That was your gift. Huh? Nah, that's not y'all fault. I'm just saying. Like, that's the beauty of being able to mix and match and do. But you got me Grand Theft Auto. I don't play that violence. <laughs> Walmart and, and Toys R Us and 
Target to um, find a whole bunch of Barbie stuff. Mostly we got stuff from Target. No, Walmart. Oh. <laughs> so we're going to show them to you. Let's get started. Yep. So, so let's do this one. This is the biggest one. Here's a Barbie and a bed. We we got this we got this new Barbie bed because we, the other one it broke. So my my mom decided to get us a new one, and it's even cooler because it has a lamp that can turn on. I don't know. Yeah, and, um, and it has a TV. A TV. And it has this Barbie has slippers. And it has um, night clothes. Yeah. So oh, make it right for our kitchen. That's not can real. Move. Hi. It has a register. It even has. That's, I thought there was a color register. And so can I explain this now? Else? And um, a washer and an iron board connect it to it. What you see is like, you see like, you see like a washer and you see like two Barbies out. Oh, that's it. Oh yeah, it's a kid and they're like ironing, like they're like iron clothes, but there's not any clothes there. So yeah. We have a day bed. It has like this Barbie laying on it, relaxing. Um, there's like a blanket with with um, flowers on it, and it says it includes um, a bed, a pillow, a blanket, and slippers. <laughs> and, and we have some some cooking stuff for the kitchen. We have a little bowl and like this mixture that you mix with um cake mix or cupcake mix and so and it has a cupcake we have a tambourine the chip for um the guitar phone that has a music things on there dress we have a dress outfits yeah we have some, a lot of outfits. i think that there's like we got shoes. the shoes, and this is for the teacher. We have a teacher, and here's a kid. Yeah, and, and here's here's all the clothes. kitchen more kitchen stuff. This is more clothes, and here more is more clothes, more kitchen stuff. I think. Hold on. And no, this is hair stuff. This is hair. And here is a kid that's light. He's almost he's like sky. Skin he's like color. almost my skin color, but he's lighter and not darker. And this is a whole bunch of clothes. Yep. So and that's it for today. I hope you guys like. Yeah. I hope that you guys like this Barbie haul. And um, subscribe if you liked it. This um, and give video. it a thumbs up. A big fat one. And um, we'll do another Barbie show for our channel, Curly's. You can you can see our channel by clicking right here. And um, you can see our first and Barbie right, show. And right, if, right. if it gets like a lot of likes, like I don't I don't really know how can many, I, can but I, can I say it? but um, we'll do a a Barbie <laughs> a Barbie show and then and all of that. So we'll be so, like three step. We'll be like doing a role play and stuff. So we'll do that if we get a lot of likes. So right here, right here is our video. So subscribe right here. And we have reached one thousand subscribers. I checked yesterday, so I wanted to tell you guys. So we'll probably do that. So I hope you guys like this video and. Peace, curls. All uh, those girls out there, make sure that your hair is natural. Natural rocks. Team natural. <laughs> rocks.